Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll show you how Google Keep works or how to use Google Keep Notes for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we need to do here is we first have to know what are the prerequisites on actually using Google Keep or the services for Google Keep. So first thing that you have to keep in mind here is you have to have a Google account or a Google uh, any Gmail account that you could basically use. Now in this case, there are two types of accounts for Google. So there are free ones as well as paid ones. But in this case, you could go ahead and go to google.com and usually at the top right here, you should be able to see an option that says sign in or sign up. Now in this case, I'm assuming that you already have your Google account or you've already created your Google account. Now in this case, once you have your account, go ahead and sign in into that. And we want to go ahead and open up the web page for Google Keep. So there's multiple ways for you to access Google Keep. Since Google Keep is a note-taking application, and it's actually highly integrated to multiple applications already in Google. Now, in this case, typically when you go ahead and go to your URL here or in your URL address here, you could go ahead and just type in keep.google.com and you should be able to see the main UI for Google Keep. Now, alternatively, you could go ahead and go to any Google applications that, like for example, we are in google.com here and typically at the top right of your screen, you should be able to see a dotted icon. So from there, what you need to do is just scroll down a bit until you see the option that says keep and when, when you actually click on it or open it in a new tab, you should be able to see again the Google Keep main dashboard. Now, as you can see, I already created some notes in my Google Keep here. So I'll be showing you how to first navigate and then how to create notes and further customize those notes. Now, first thing that we need to do here is for first familiarize ourselves what is or what are the things that we could do in Google Keep. Now, here in the main UI for Google Keep at the left section here, you have your notes, reminders, labels or edit labels, and archive and trash. Now, from the name itself, under notes, this is where you'll be able to see all your notes. Now, if you've added reminders, which I'll be showing you later on how to do that, this is where you'll be able to see your reminders in this section here. Also, if you added new labels, this is where you'll be able to add lab uh, see the labels that you added on your notes. Now here, if you want to edit your labels, you could go ahead and click on edit labels here and you could go ahead and create new labels or you could go ahead and rename them or even delete them if you want to. Like for example, let's go ahead and delete this one. Just click on delete and just hit undone. And from here, we have our archive. So archive is where your uh, notes or your ideas are actually stored when you choose to archive those specific notes, which in this case, I'll be showing you later on as well. Now, if you deleted any notes before, this is where you'll be able to see your uh, throne or your trash or your previously created uh, notes here that you deleted. Now, in this case, what are the other things or settings and uh, uh, adjust adjustments that we could do on our Google Keep? So at the top right here, you should be able to see a button for a refresh, the list view, and even the settings. Now from the name itself, if you click on refresh, it's going to basically refresh your page here and you'll be able to get the latest notes on your account. Now, if you want to switch this to a list view, which is a more organized way, so let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, your notes will now be shown accordingly. So you'll see one note at a time instead of seeing it in a grid view here. Now, if you want to view more settings, just click on settings here and you have the following options. You have settings, enable dark theme, like for example, if you like the dark theme, you could go ahead and just click on it. And as you can see, we now have the dark theme. Now, the other option here is send feedback, help. And if you want further assistance on using their services, you could go ahead and help. Or if you're having troubles, you could go use the help functionality here as well. Now here we have the apps download and keyboard sh shortcut as well. So let's go to settings here. And as you can see, there are a few settings that we can change here. Like for example, add new items to the bottom, move check items to the bottom, and reminders by default, and sharing if you want to enable that. Now in this case, if you want to enable or disable some of the settings here, you could go ahead and just disable or enable them. But for now, let's go ahead and keep the default settings here. 
Now, for us to add our notes, what we need to do here is what is, is just basically type in into the center of our screen here. It says take a note. So, for example, we want to say this is a sample note. So, I want to just say that. So, in this case, I'm just going to say this is a sample note. Now, in this case, there are multiple ways for you to add notes. So, by default, you could go ahead and just type anything that you want to hear, uh, do here. Like, this is a sentence. And from here at the bottom section, you have the following options. Now, if you want to add reminders to specific notes, like for example, this is something that you should be doing like later in the day or uh, sometime in the future, you could go ahead and click on it. And from here, you could set the time or later today, 8 p.m. tomorrow or next week. Now, you could also pick a date or end time for it and a place if you need it. Now, in this case, like for example, you want to pick a date time. You could go ahead and change the date, for example, for tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. And from here, we want to make sure that we set this to does not repeat. But if you want to repeat this or you want this reminder to repeat maybe daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or custom here, you could go ahead and do that. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and uh, enter this one. And also, you also have the option here to add collaborators. So in this case, when you click on it, you'll be able to add someone into this specific node. And uh, from here, you just need to input their email and you'll be able to add them as a collaborator. But in this case, let's go ahead and click on save. Now from here, we have the background options as well. Now in this case, background options are a way for you to customize your node. Now in this case, we have the groceries here, food, and the music here or just simple colors here so depending on what you need to do here you could go ahead and choose an appropriate one like for example let's say this is for groceries or even music so let's say this is just music now from here we also have the other options like for example if you want to add images into your notes what you need to do is just click on the add image here and from here you'll be able to choose an image that you want to upload like for example we want to upload this picture here click on open and we'll be able to add that image into our note here but in this case let's go ahead and go back and from here we also have the option that says archive and more and undo like if you added something recent here you could go ahead and just basically click on undo or redo for you to take a step back or stay a uh, step forward on what you did recently now here, if you click on more here, we have delete node, add label. If you want to add a label here, for example, let's go ahead and click on add label here. And let's say we want to basically name this as a test. So this is a test, uh, test label. So let's go ahead and click on create test. And as you can see, it's now added. Now from here, we have the other option as well for make a copy, add drawing, show checkboxes, grab image text, copy to Google Docs if you want to copy that, and also version history. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, click on anywhere here. And as you can see, that note will now be added as well as the tag for that specific note. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and click on the label here. And as you can see, that note is now added into that specific label, which is a great way for you to basically organize your notes and be in, in track or basically categorizing them in a specific location or in a tag, which makes things a lot clearer and a lot organized. Now here, let's go back into notes. Now, another cool feature here on uh, Keep or Google Keep is you also have the option to create list as well as create drawings. Like for example, you want to create a list, like for example, this is for shopping. I want to say this is for shopping and in here, I want to list some items. So in this case, maybe I want to say I need to buy a banana and I also need to buy bread. And from here, we could go ahead and add another, like for example, background options. We want to choose grocery here. And from here, you could go ahead and just click on close here and it's going to be automatically added. Now, in this case, if you're not aware yet, Google Keep also has a mobile application that you can download. And if you have a mobile application that as long as you have internet connection, you'll be able to access your notes here, which is a really cool feature if you want to keep things in track. 
Now, in this case, if you're wondering how do you add drawings, well, you need to click on the new note with drawing here, and basically you could go ahead and start drawing. Like for example, that you have your pen here, and as you can see, I'll be able to draw something here, as well as the eraser tool here if you want to erase a certain drawing here. The other pen here. So if you click on the drop down icon here, you can even change how big that specific pen is. Like for example, we want to draw a happy face here. You could go ahead. Now I also have the highlighter here if you want that. And from here, let's just go back. Now from here, as you can see, this is our drawing. Go ahead and click on close and it's going to be automatically added. Now from here, you might be asking, how do we actually view this on other applications? So just to give you an example, I'm going to go to Gmail here. This is my email, so where I usually get my uh, things that I want to get or uh, if I need to respond to someone. And uh, Google Keep is going to be another tab here. But the good thing about Google Keep, since it's under Google, uh, Google Keep is going to be widely integrated to different applications. Now, at the right side here, you should be able to see the Keep icon. So if you don't see the Keep icon here, you can go ahead and click on the plus button here, get add-ons, and from here, look for Google Keep. Now, in this case, since I already have Google Keep here, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, as you can see, our notes are readily available. Now, in this case, like for example, we want to compose a new uh, email here. We could go ahead and just visit our notes here. So what we need to do and whatnot. And even in this section here, you could even edit those specific notes. Like if you want to delete them, archive them, or even add new sections or list on your specific note here as well. Or even edit some notes here if you have to. Now, in this case, if you're wondering if it's still, it's if it's also possible for docs, well, let's go ahead and click on the dotted icon here. Let's look for docs here. And from here, we want to go ahead and create a new one or open a existing one here. So for example, we want to say this document here. So go ahead and open this one. Now from here at the right side, you should be able to see the keep icon as well. And immediately you should be able to see it again. And from here, you could go ahead and just refer on any items or notes here onto your document. And yeah, so this is a cool feature on Google, which is Google Keep. So make sure to utilize it as much as you can across different Google applications. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.